Let's uh, scoot on over to France again. There you go. Scoot. And um, you had a big contingency of people that went with you. It was a huge contingency. We had actually 100 people coming with us. Uh, you know, it was an amazing turnout. Uh, everybody was really into the uh, into the whole competition itself. It was, you know, it's, it's like the Wimbledon. They call it the Wimbledon of uh, the culinary industry. Oh, really? And it's on television, broadcasted live for two days. And it's on radio. We were on national radio. Uh, newspaper so it was it's a big event so I mean uh, Bill Rice who was definitely somebody who meant a lot to me uh, to be there he was uh, wrote a great article every, great article uh, it was like again even though I didn't win the award for me that was the award so it was it was well enough to just have well, that let's uh, I got a, I've got an interview with Bill Rice and let's take a look at that great uh, we're here with Bill Rice uh, from the Chicago Tribune uh, and if you you once said to me that the United States was the culinary superpower. Uh, certainly if Chicago wins, Chicago must be something. And with that, I'm going to say a guy like Rich Melvin must be maybe a king. So that probably makes you a duke or an earl? Well, I don't know about the royalty. We live in a democracy. But uh, what's happened, and it's very exciting to see here, is the respect for the Americans and the American team that uh, the American chefs are here are being welcomed by, by the French chefs, by the European chefs. It's a wonderful getting together of people around the world, but the stature of, of American cooking and American chefs has risen incredibly in the last 10, 20 years. I, I've got to say that's no in small part to you. How long have you been writing your food, been, been in the food department of the Trib? Well, I've been with the Trib 10 years, but I've been writing about food for about 30 now. Yeah, now tell me just to, to tell people a little bit. How did you, it's something you chose to do before it was really in vogue. Well, it seemed to be a good way to get to eat regularly. <laughs> no, I fell in love with uh, food as a young child and wine uh, when I was somewhat older, but uh, it's just been a wonderful time the last 30 years to watch the increased enthusiasm, sophistication about food in our country. Got to ask you a quickie. What do you think about Steve Cipetti's chances? Well, I think he's right in there. The, the uh, scores yesterday were good, but nobody has, nobody has dominated totally yet, so... I, and Steve's calm and confident, so I, I think there's a, there's a shot. It'd be wonderful just to be won a medal. All the way USA, huh? All the way USA and Chicago will be the gastronomic capital of America. You know, I've got to ask, do you ever wonder what these reporters put on their, let me see, what are the notes you've been taking here? We, let's see, what is laundry, tickets, postcards? See there, Bill Rice, thanks man. My pleasure. Steve, tell me about the day of the event. What, what happened there? Uh, actually, we didn't sleep that night, so that, that was a good start of the day. But uh, actually, that day we were in there, we were very confident. Uh, you know, we were practicing so many times that it wasn't a uh, repetitive conversation. We didn't actually say a word to each other during the whole thing, which is a good sign, maybe a good sign for me that we were actually knew what we were doing. Uh, I wanted to uh, put a microphone on your wireless mic. And I guess I was kind of voted down by that. But it was interesting because literally as I'm looking at you, you and uh, what's your assistant, Christine? Christine. It was great. Literally didn't say five words to each other, I don't think, other than one little thing, incident happened. But we, we won't show that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay. Weird, yeah, it was, it was pretty much, I mean, that was a good sign that we were actually knew what we were doing. We were on top of things. Uh, it was moving along very well for us. Because so. we want to get going and get out of here a little bit. But tell me about the fish and that you had to make because it's we were practicing with cod i said we you're like we had jump right in i went a little, little water there you go. but you were practicing with cod but actually over there you used scry it was scry yeah it was uh definitely a unique fish uh it's only indigenous it's only indigenous to sweden and it's only available like three months out of the whole year so it made for a very interesting thing uh, it actually made for an interesting event because the uh, steve uh, by the way as far as i'm concerned won the event um, and, and it made all Americans proud that were there, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, but the people that did win, I don't remember the order, were all Scandinavian countries, Norway, uh, Sweden, and Denmark, yeah. because they know how to cook the, and that particular prepare that fish, I think. And maybe on the other hand, there's politics. <laughs> I'm not saying it was just a. It was a great. It was a great honor to be part of it. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I'm ready to jump back into it again, but uh, definitely it's, uh, it's something to remember. Cool. Hey, Steve Cipetti, I thank you, buddy. And uh, time to go to the kitchen. Yeah, let's go to the kitchen. Come on. <laughs>